Phrase your question, please. Like, what do you mean by, like, the sample size is, like, less than 30? Like, what are we supposed to try to find there? Like, how do we find that? So, let me show you. I'm going to dip my net. Now, do you see my current sample is 24? Do you see that number down here? Yeah. So, that's telling me I have less than 30 fish in my sample. So, this is my first sample size, our small sample size. Mm -hmm. So, in that current sample, there are two fish that are red. So now we know two fish out of the 24 in our sample are red. And we're going to build an equivalent ratio to figure out how many fish are in the entire pond. Okay, so we would have 2 over 24 equals what, Ari? What would be our second ratio? 12. Our first ratio is 2 over 24, the number of marked over the total. And what would be our second ratio, do you know? I'm sorry, you just glitched out and I couldn't hear you. Oh, that's okay. I'm asking what the second ratio would be. The first ratio is the sample bucket, which is 2 out of 24 are marked. So what would the second ratio be for the entire tank? Do you remember? I don't know. Can someone else, does there, someone else want to turn their mic off and try to chime in here? Something over X. What's the something? Good. So we need to know how many are marked in the tank. Do we know 25? how many are? 25. 25. So our first ratio is 2 over 24 equals 25 over X. Because we know there's 25 marked in the tank, but the denominator, the total population, we don't know. So now we're going to either use scaling, uh, ratio table, or cross multiplication in order to figure out what the total number of fish in the tank are. So again, our first ratio is the sample bucket. Right now, we have 2 out of 24 fish in the sample bucket marked. And we know there are 25 over X fish in the pond. So it's 2 over 24 equals 25 over X. And we're trying to figure out what the total population is in the pond. Now, Ari, once you do that, you're going to release the fish. And we're going we're gonna to catch a bigger sample. So I'm going to dip my net twice. So now I have between 40 and 60 fish in my sample bucket. I have 52 fish in my sample bucket and I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to use this sample ratio 5 over 52 to estimate how many fish are in the entire tank. But now I have a larger sample size to, to use for my ratio. We're going to continue that six times. If anyone has a question, please turn on your mic and ask the question now. I would, uh, I would appreciate that. Ari, how are you feeling about this? I understand it a little. Not really, though. 100%. So the, the information you're putting on the Google form is your estimated population. That's what we want to put on the Google form. Did you write down that ratio on a piece of paper, the first one that we did? It was 2 over 24 equals 25 over x. Yes. So now what's this one going to be, Ari? Tell me what the ratio, our equivalent ratio is going to be for this problem. What's the ratio for our bucket, our sample bucket? Um, 5 over 52. Good. Equals, and now what's the ratio for our entire pond? 25 over x. Yeah, exactly. And we're going to keep doing that process six times for six different sample sizes. And we're going to get different estimations for the number of fish in the tank. Oh, OK. Are there any other questions that I can answer right now live? Does anyone else want to turn their mic on? I'll give 10 seconds for you to turn your mic on and answer a question. Otherwise, I'm going to stop this video. Wait. I'm so confused now. Okay, Daniel, what are you confused about? The, the, the form thing. Yeah, exactly. What do you, so on the form, you're entering the number of fish you think that are in the population. So the, the value you get for X in the second ratio, that's the number you're entering in the form. Let me show you what, yes, some, of, what some of the forms, the forms look like. Do you guys see this here? Do you see all this data that's being collected? Yes. Do you see how Bonnie and Justin's numbers are really low and Theodore's number also very low? So they have some type of issue 
with the numbers they're entering. As you can see here, just from looking, it looks like there might be somewhere between two to 400 fish in the tank, maybe, but it depends on your samples and your sample sizes. And we're gonna look at this data more in depth next week. So I'm just trying to collect the data so that we can analyze it next week. What was the website called again? So that's, that link is on our, our homepage. Are there any other questions relating to the ratios that I can help you with and, and how to catch the fish in the bucket before we end this like live video help session? Yeah. I have one more question. Yeah. So like in the form, why does it say 30? Like, do you have to get a sample? Like when you're fishing, do you have to get something like less than 30 or between like 40 and 60? So as mathematicians, Ari, we have to be aware of our sample sizes. And what we're going to discuss next week is how sample size affects our ability to estimate a population. Uh -huh. um, so we want to capture different sample sizes and then we're going to analyze that data as a class next week and look at trends for how the sample size affects our ability to accurately estimate how many fish are in that tank. Do you have any, do you have any like gut feelings about sample size and how it might help us estimate the number of fish in the tank? What do you think about that, Ari? Can you repeat that? So as... We have small samples, medium samples, and large samples. Which samples do you think will give us a better estimation of the fish in the tank? Large samples? Yeah, why do you think it's the large ones? Because it's a bigger... Rep bigger what? Presentation. Can you say that again, Ari? Because it's a bigger um, representation of the population. Yeah, exactly. But maybe that's true and maybe it's not, but our gut feeling is that usually a large sample would be better. And next week we're going to look at all, all the students' data. I'm going to compile it for you so you can see it very easily. And then we can make decisions and say which of the samples or sample sizes is really helping us see how many fish are in this population. Are there mm -hmm. any other questions? I'll do a 10 second pause and wait for any other questions. I'm confused about the thing. It says S is um, greater than 30. S is less than 30. Oh, less than. All right, do you want to explain to him what that means now since you understand? Um, it basically means when, when you're dipping in and getting a sample bucket after you have all your 25 total marked in there, you want to get a number less than 30 so you can see at the different sample sizes. So that's, see, if this, see this one's too large. See how it says current sample 37, Daniel? That's too big, so I'm going to release those fish. And I'm going to take another dip and try to get less than 30. There we go, I have less than 30. So I would use this ratio, six over 25, as my ratio for this small sample where we have less than 30 fish. Oh, okay. I, I'm, what, do we keep doing it? Because I got zero when I got under 30. Guess what, got, that, that happens sometimes to scientists. And okay. what do you think you would do in that, in, in that situation where you got zero redfish? You would continue with it. You think you would? So you would uh, you'll do it again. I think yeah, I'd do it at least I'd probably redo that sample because if I was a scientist, that doesn't give me any information. Um yeah. it makes me think that the population is really large, but I have no I have no like bearing on how large the population is because I didn't collect any um any red fish. And that's maybe one of the reasons why we might take a larger sample, Ari, so we have a better chance or a higher probability of getting more red fish in our sample. Okay. Are there, I'm going to do a 10-second pause. Are there any other questions that I can support anyone with? My thing's not working. Okay, I'm going to end this now, and then I'll, I'll help you with your, your issue.